I started pulling this leather off it's coming away quite cleanly and I can just roll it up now with my hands and you can see that it's pretty much it was floating loose at this point the glue is only on the leather and not on the body at these ends it's just come off away from there completely the only place the glue had any sticking power was on the centre of the back section you can see the green spot here and here that's the corrosion causing the Zeiss bumps that we see on the leather at this point and here and here so that's easy to clean I'll try these bits of leather here on the front sides this is stuck better it'll be the same adhesive of course but uh, it's sticking better when there's any doubt you better to have the leather off completely so you can clean the entire leather and re stick it back down again as you saw that was only stuck here at the front panel really the center piece and around the end there wasn't held by anything um, and that flew off as soon as I loosened that piece of leather we'll try at this end of the camera this does feel to be stuck much better oh it's loose in the center I'm using a scalpel here my scalpel's got quite a broad blade and I'm using it to scrape between the leather and the aluminium body but I'm also twisting it to lever the leather off the body so I'm not just yeah that just came away so here's our leather that can be cleaned up so we the body is now devoid of leather it means I can clean up all of this residue um, loose adhesive Piece, that's, that's, that's fibres from the leather at the back there and adhesive, bit of a mixture I want all that clean probably the wrong number, I'm just going to answer that yeah, didn't like the sound of my voice, they rang off instantly either a wrong number or the tech support scammers who plagued me This adhesive's not stuck well to the body at all. I'm scraping off the, uh, the vast bulk of it now, and I will use various uh, solvents and cleaners to remove any of the residue it is easy to shift anything that is stuck very very well of course can stay there it will serve as a good base the adhesive I use we just don't want anything that's loose and on the back of this camera It's quite a build up there, I can tell that that adhesive was quite thick and I'm just effectively shaving off the leather fibres here and some of that adhesive just to make it easier to get this clean most likely this will come clean with a bit of uh, acetone that's a good solvent for most of this 
powder adhesive. And you do things like this, try not to uh, take any more of that paint off the camera back at the edges there. Some cameras it's gone completely um, as somebody has removed the red, the, removed it since it was um, there wasn't much of it left and it looked untidy. Let's try some acetone on the back here now and see if that removes any of that adhesive. Try not to get the acetone on the paintwork, it'll also remove your paint. I'm just soaking this patch in the middle. It's certainly coming away on the cotton bud, so it probably is dissolving. I'm watching the way it comes off as so I scrape at it. It has been softened, it's been uh, liquefied to a certain extent, dissolved in the acetone. So I should be able to get all that filth off there. I won't make you watch that, I'll be here for the next 20 minutes cleaning this camera. Alright, I have the body pretty much clean enough for my purposes now. I'm checking closely here to see, given the state of the adhesive holding the leather to the camera back and the base and so forth, I need to know what the state of the adhesive holding the bellows into the body is like. And I immediately notice that the bellows are coming away. And you might be able to uh, see there, uh, the whole bellows is just falling off. It didn't require much uh, encouragement at all for that to happen. So it's just as well I checked that, otherwise doubtless on about the second occasion of opening the front of the camera those bellows were just going to come adrift. Alright, so there's our bellows complete. And you can see where they were stuck at the back of the camera. And that adhesive has just let go. There's some adhesive on the back there. But it's only was only in contact in a small thin line. And here it's just flaking off. Now that's a, uh, may almost have been shellac that stuff, but it's certainly not up to the job. So I'll just get rid of that loose stuff. Here we have two springs, top and bottom. Their job is to pop the front of the camera open slightly when you press the release. They don't move it far, and they're not very strong springs. I'm just checking that they are both, in fact, present and correct. They're not quite the same shape as the majority of the springs that you see, uh, but doubtless there was some experimenting going on as to what shape they should be. All right. I can check the bellows themselves now, see what sort of a state they're in. They're a bit dusty, that's hardly surprising. But they look sound. So I'll just scrape the back of them lightly to remove any loose adhesive. That's all that's required. I wipe them with a bit of uh, naphtha. They lift more to lift off any dust than anything else. I see that this piece, this surface here, seems a bit loose. I'll be extra good about sticking a bit of adhesive in there. And I'll check that closely. 
that really should be glued in that surface so I'll do that first and then I'll glue those bellows back to the body that'll be my first task bellows in and leather back on the body I think after that but bellows in first so I'll start with a bit of adhesive here that I can pick up on a toothpick and I need to get it underneath that loose edge that's delaminating there that's the outer leather coming adrift from the cardboard slat that would have been in at that point of paper that's all that's required I'll check the other end that's much the same That's good, that's done. So, gluing the bellows back into the body. First I need to clean that body carefully. And for this purpose I'm using some acetone. And I just want to run around where that adhesive was. Make sure I lift off anything loose. You can see I've got paint and other rubbish came off with that. And run some adhesive on that point. Now the body has been milled at that point. You can see the pattern that the end mill has left on it as it's been run around that surface. To and that was almost certainly done to remove any traces of uh, paint uh, prior to the bellows being glued in. So it was cleaned back right to the bare aluminium. And I usually do the aluminium body first because I want to put two coats on the bellows. This adhesive is uh, designed to be used as a contact adhesive. In the normal use, you would apply a layer to both surfaces, wait for it to go tacky, and then stick both surfaces together firmly, whereupon it would stick, like the proverbial. In this case, I'm applying a coat to both surfaces which I will allow to dry completely. I'll then apply another coat to the bellows only and while that's wet I'll position it in the body and press it into place. This first coat on the bellows you could almost think of as a primer. It's uh, just sealing that surface, soaking in to some extent. And within a minute or two, that'll be ready to go. All right, that adhesive is uh, dried as much as I need it to. So now I'm gonna apply my second coat to the bellows and then put them in place. As you can see I'm just applying some adhesive to my paper, picking it up on a toothpick and transferring it across. This allows me to get a, an even layer of ad adhesive on here without having it run down into the bellows themselves and uh, sticking things up. The 
you can a few threads of adhesive here they'll lift off this side here looks a bit uh, sparse so we'll make sure we get plenty on here that's that so that's all together and the body of course we've got one layer on there which acts effectively as a primer now one side of these bellows that's the join now the join goes inwards it goes to the uh, advanced knob side so I'll drop those into place <coughs> shuffle them around till I'm happy that I've got them centered in particular I don't want the edge of the bellows coming into the frame in here I'm going to make sure I've got it all the way across there that's clear and they're square in the body you can look through from the back you can tell whether you've got them around the right way because if you've got them 90 degrees out you won't have a nice rectangular hole you'll have a square one which is no good to you okay so we've got our bellows in the body that's stuck down that can be just left there to uh, cure I'm going to start putting my leather back onto the body I've got the back cleaned as well as I need to I've got the leather for the back both front side panels off, cleaned, ready to be glued back so we'll start with the back the adhesive that was on here which I'm fairly sure was shellac judging by the smell of the dust as I scraped it off was certainly not stuck particularly well it came away from the leather pretty easily and uh, that's all to the good for our purposes I'm just getting an even layer of this adhesive all over the back a bit too much there right to the edges particularly at the ends because the ends in this case both of the ends were loose make sure that's nice and even and while I'm here I'm going to just put a little wipe over where those two um, Zeiss bumps were because I really would like the leather to pop back nice and flat there and it won't want to of course okay that's good that adhesive is not dry it's still wet it's very tacky this is the tricky bit it's got retina written on here do your best to see that it is the right way up there's nothing worse than a camera with the name on it upside down I've got to get this settled into the uh, the grooves in the between the black uh, edges here make sure it's nice and flat particularly make sure that it's tucked in well at the hinge end there and I'm just making sure it's positioned correctly at this stage making sure that it's very evenly pushed into place I'll just put a little bit of naphtha on a cotton bud now and I'll run it down that edge where it butts up against the paint just to lift off any excess adhesive that's squeezed out there was a bit likewise at the end now the leather is uh, not particularly pretty it's got some dull patches in it I'm just checking that those are places where the surface of the leather is just rubbed through not that they are patches of adhesive or patches of dirt stuck on there with adhesive 
when this is all fixed and dry I'll treat this with a bit of polish and that back will look fine as ice bumps are a lot less prominent there now than they were if anything it's a little bit hollow there so that's the back leather on our bellows back in place we can do our two front side panels this one here this is at the catch end you can tell because it's got a little notch in it this is a little bit distorted and it's got the remains of something unfortunate on there I think that somebody has uh, the edges were probably coming away somebody has glued them back and I suspect it was done with um, not, might have been aerodite could have been an epoxy uh, or it might have been a woodworking glue but it doesn't want to dissolve for me and uh, it certainly left a hard residue on the leather the leather's a bit buckled up at this edge um, again that's been soaked with that adhesive there's no danger that I'll be able to flatten that out and make it lie as flat as it should do so I'm going to roll this back over the edge of the body try and make sure that those loose edges a particular uh, tucked down well and everything is pressed into place correctly now lift that back in place got to make sure that this edge of the back doesn't pull that leather up That should stay in place nicely and I can do the other side. Like the back, that leather's pretty scruffy looking, uh, very dusty look to it, a bit scuffed. Um, once the adhesive, adhesive has dried completely and cured, that can be treated with a bit of polish. It'll look much, much better. Got to keep in mind that this uh, camera is quite old. Um, just trying to think how old it is. About 70 years old. Is it 60 years old? 70 years old. So it's, uh, it's no wonder it's looking a bit rough around the edges. I'm not that old and I'm looking rough around the edges. Press that panel down into place, make sure it's tucked in neatly, particularly in these front edges. It fits down smoothly into that recess. I'll get a cotton bud with a bit of naphtha on it. Run it around these edges here to remove any adhesive that's... Uh, rolled over those body edges run down that hinge, hinge line there that looks good get rid of that nasty piece of paper I'm checking that these edges here in particular are stuck down very flat and stuck down firmly this back catch certainly wants to uh, catch on that leather as it comes across that leather, as I say, has been distorted, but unfortunately it's been set in that position by whatever adhesive had been used on it. That's better. I just uh, applied some body English to that body edge, and now it doesn't conflict. That looks quite good. I'll just go around some of these painted body edges again with some naphtha on a cotton bud make sure I've got any adhesive off the paint
that's good all right so that's our leather back the leather on the base of the camera of course doesn't go back until I've got the front door and everything back in place oops I shouldn't have done that I'm just pulling the bellows out to see how to show off but of course I could have just these I could have peeled them off the body because the glue hasn't had time to set I didn't go that far they're still stuck well I've got to find a release button for here we've lost our release button that was the uh, the number one and most obvious shortcoming with this camera I've got to find a release button back shortly <laughs> 